Hi guys, I am nothing if not persistent, uh, some may say stubborn. Uh, today I'm going to take another shot at using zip ties in the weed eater and see if I can get some better results than last time. I had some pretty good ideas after seeing what happened last time. Mixed results on the first attempt. Uh, and I've gotten some good suggestions uh, on the comments of the first video. Uh, today I have some colorful zip ties which uh, I think are a little thicker than the one, I'm pretty sure they're a little thicker than the ones I had before. Uh, if these will even fit in the weed eater the way I intend to use them, um, they should do a little bit better job. So I'm going to try the uh, multicolor zip ties and try a different approach today, see what kind of results I get on take two. <laughs> The first time I tried this, I uh, put the zip ties through these holes where the string normally goes and tied them down securely. This time, taking the thicker zip ties, feeding them through the holes, like so, and these are loose, they are not secured, that way it's putting less stress on them. Hopefully, being able to give, it won't break right here where it, what happened last time. Um, and replace the cap so they just can't come loose. Um, I'm going to have to trim this off here again, just like last time, and then we'll give it a shot and see what happens. All right, I'm going to try this with the thicker zip ties loosely connected. Let's see what happens. That was a pretty good test. Uh, I actually hit the bricks. Held up much better. It looks like um, a little, let's see how long that is. Uh, a piece broke off of each of them, but it definitely worked better. I did hit the brick, so uh, that is a definite improvement. A definite, definite improvement, so I think we're on the right track with this. We try a little bit more. I'm going to call that a success. That actually works. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and see you later. Do try this at home.